Hi everybody, it's Scott Wilson here, and welcome to the very final lesson on um, this uh, Udemy U scripting course. So in this final one, um, it is fairly quick, I'm going to show you how to build a final version of your game as a PC or Mac demo or a prototype. So to do this, we go to File, and we go to into Build Settings. And here we have a lot of settings to play around with. Um, What's really important is that you include the, the levels that you want your game to, to feature. So inside here we have our main menu as well as our test. And these are in a um, the proper order. So if we want our main menu to show up first, we make sure that this is indeed set to main menu as well as our test level. To add in levels, we simply just drag levels in or we can click add current, which will add the current level to the list as well. We can just use uh, the delete key to delete levels as well. The next uh, set of settings we have is what platform you want to publish on. So by default, it's set to PC, Mac and Linux standalone. So if you are on a PC, um, you'll get the Windows option. You can export to Mac, although I haven't tried it. Um, I believe you do have to have a Macintosh to, to build it, um, as well as Linux. So we can choose uh, Windows. You can also now choose which architecture to build, either 32-bit or 32-bit as well as 64-bit. Um, more than commonly, you'll want to choose the the x64, or sorry, the x86, which is 32-bit as well as 64. Um, and that's that's it really. You also have options for iOS, Android, BlackBerry, and so on. Some of the things you can do is you can also go into player settings. In here you can actually type in your company name, you can type in the name of the game itself, as well as things like icons and cursors. So um, things like um, the icon of the game itself, and I believe that that is the, the mouse cursor. You also have settings for the PC, Mac and standalone, so things like resolution, such as uh, default is full screen, um, native resolution. Uh, you have things like um, DirectX modes. You have um, the supported aspect ratios, such as 4x3, 5x4, 16x10, 16x9. You also have options for icons, uh, splash, Im bleh, splash images, as well as some other settings, such as um, using DirectX 11. Um, apart from that, you don't really need to play around too much in this, um, especially that this is a prototype. Um, so, without any further ado, all you need to do is click build and here you need to specify a folder to build this to so I'm going to put this into um, let's see I'm going to put it into my C drive I'm going to make a new folder I'm going to call this um, final game and here we specify the file name of our game so I'm going to call this dual stick shooter and I'm going to click on save and we just give this um, maybe about 20 seconds it's going to compile all our scripts, it's going to build the player, it's going to bring our scenes in, and we're now done. And here we have it, our final game. Typically, um, Unity games consist of two files, um, the executable as well as the data folder. It's really important that whenever you want to package this game and send it out to people, that you include both files and that you don't change the names or else your Unity game will fail to work. Um, inside the data is all the kind of package data everything is packaged so that um, people can not actually access your source files. In total this game is about 30 megs, uh, just under 30, which is pretty good. And to launch it all you do is you double click the EXE and you have the, the configuration. We don't need to worry about input settings um, because we've customized our input in the in Uscript. However you do get options for screen resolution. Um, typically 1920 by 1080 is for a full screen monitor. If you're perhaps on a laptop, you may want to choose 1366 by 768. You also have options for windowed mode, and you also have options for our graphics qualities. Remember that we actually changed the Fantastic to Ultra. And also because I'm using two monitors, we now have options for which monitor to display the game on. Um, I'm not going to play the game because I'm in screen recording. But apart from that, guys and girls, that is our... Um, that is the course finished. I really hope you've enjoyed it, that you've learned something. Remember that this is just um, 
a game at its prototype phase um, the power view script can be used to prototype um, really really quickly um, this course was only about five hours long so it just shows how quick you can actually build these types of games so again thank you very much for watching it i've really enjoyed um doing this and bringing it to you if you have any questions feel free to leave um comments in the the course page but apart from that um thank you again and hopefully i will see you again in another udemy course goodbye